Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Legend of Runeterra. Today we are continue, continuing the string of me stealing other people's deck. So today I am playing a Jana Rice deck. So Rise is our win condition. For mana cost, the origin is the Rune Mage. He is a Runeterra champion, so he doesn't care about which region he's got cards are from he care about what the effect are and as long as a card is non-targeted effect we can use it each round when you summon him or round start create to delve into the past in your deck this will allow you to pick one out of two world runes each one having a special effect that is triggered when summoned or when you summon another world rune. We will go through them together one at a time. When you have three world runes, he level up. And when you have five and you attack, you win. Okay. That is basically it. And to maximize this effect, we need to have the world runes as soon as possible. So it's uh, fight against time, basically. That's why we added predict and Jana. Since Jana will allow us to reduce the cost of cards that we are drawing this round, it also allows us to updraft so we can pick cards and make them back into the deck and make them cheaper. The winds of change blow bitter cold. Mm -hmm. We added also the Evil and Perfectionist, which will allow us to pick a card, create four exact copy of it in your deck. For example, I am going to make Delve into the Abyss more copy of it. Or Practical Perfectionist, which will predict, create three copy of the chosen card in your deck. And this should allow us, in theory at least, to reach the win condition as soon as possible. Okay, first one we have Shard of Madness, which allow us to create Rune Prison that will block an attacking unit, or Shard of Violence, which I will pick right now, which allow us to draw one. Mm -hmm. Should not have done that. Okay. Next round, I have two aftershock to get rid of sunken template and frozen throat. I will start with Sunken Template. So Sunken Temple. Since it allows you to updraft your hand. So pick the cards in your hand, put them back in your deck, reduce their cost by one. Then at the start of the round, draw that many cards plus one. Of course, I, I also have one copy in my deck hopefully i can get it i am going to take two damage 
nothing I can do about it. The fact is, when rise level up, so you did what? Okay, wasted his mana. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's use time trick. Allow us to predict, then draw what we are predicting. Then predict again. Get another delve into the abyss. Now I am going to summon another ward rune which means i will activate another shard of violence again so i am going to draw what i just predicted okay now we get shard of betrayal which will allow me when played or activated deal two to the weakest enemy nice this will allow me to kill his unit plus get my hand on another ward rune He is waiting for Frozen Thrall to finish and I am going to kill it this round. Okay, I am gonna take a lot of damage next round. But for now, let's stop this little guy. Board mm -hmm. run again. Okay, this will allow me to heal, and this one will allow me to get rune prison. So if he does not attack directly, I will be able to use rune prison to stun and attack an enemy and prevent him from dealing damage to me. We see through all. Nice. Okay, we have the condition to get Rise to level up. One more thing, when Rise level up, when he attack, he activate all the ward runes effect. That's why I added the scavenged Kamok locker, which will grant an ally elusive. So nobody can stop, uh, nobody can block him in the usual cases. Okay, I will take one damage. Ice Shard was not the right move. He should have attacked, then used Ice Shard. Ice Shard. I'm a bit sick, so my pronunciation is not as it should be. Okay, Shard of Reverence. And now we can refill our spell mana and activate all the effects we are just just missing rise all these draws and predicts and we did not get him unlucky right now we have hardy husk which is uh, a husk unit mean when we summon another unit it will die and give its stat and keyword to that unit if we give it for example the effect of fury of the north which is supposed to stay only one round when it die it will have the effect permanently to the other unit Okay, let's heal our Nexus and draw two. Mm -hmm. Create two coins, draw two. Draw one. Okay. Oh, two, yes. Okay, let's use Delve into the past. Last shard, which allow us to, when played or activated, heal allied rice. And the Nexus two. So, fully heal, kill his unit. We are just missing rise.
we are both unlucky. He did not get Volibear or Seraphine yet. Or any unit so far. He is playing super weird. Now that I think about it. Bring me the calm of an ice shrouded world. Okay, I will pass. I need to keep my mana so that I can stop him from dealing any major damage to me. The combo with uh, the combo with the husk is no longer useful since I already have all my all my shards. Today we fight as one. <laughs> okay, let's draw one. Let's use Rune Prison to stop him. This is a very weird fight. I don't care about the three damage that I took because honestly, it doesn't really matter. I have a lot of cards that will allow me to heal myself. What I need right now is to empty my hand so that I can use them to draw more cards, etc, etc. It would be funny to win without even using Rise Passive. The funny part is that Rise when summoned will have spell shield So it will be really hard for him to actually kill him Especially I really want to know what happened to his deck He is either really unlucky Or playing really bad finally okay I am going to start by using furies of the north I give it to to the task and summoning rise my name is rise I am the rune maid A very strange fight. I need to see his deck.
He managed to buy himself some time. It wouldn't matter that much, but still good. Good for him. If he attack right now, he can win. If I didn't have some trick up my sleeve. Okay, he can attack. I will live with one HP. Okay, let's get rid of this guy. If he summon Volley Bear, I lose. see his deck because that is a strange fight really strange he has his hand full but never played anything three sisters he has shaman Let's import it. Edit. Ah, okay. So he has very few units. Not that much, but unlucky. He was just unlucky. Well, I hope you like the video. If you do, please share, subscribe, hit the notification button, and put in the comment what other champions or deck you'd like to see next. Bye.